Hey guys, welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. My name's Garrett, and today I've got something a little bit different for you. Usually on these weekly 3D prints, I do something video game related or a prop from a movie or something like that. And while this technically was in a few video games, and I'm sure it's been in a few movies, um, this one's a little bit more historical in nature. So this one is actually a pistol from the World War II era um, called the Well Rod. I'll put a little image right up here so you can see what it looks like. And I'll tell you a little story about why I am creating this. When I was a kid, I played video games with my dad all the time, and they're some of my best memories, um, and to this day I still love playing video games, obviously. Around the PS2 era, there was a game called Medal of Honor Rising Sun, um, and we played this a lot because it had a lot of great uh, couch co-op features. And they actually had this, it was kind of a horde type mode, if I remember correctly, where you just fought a ton of computer players. And my dad and I would play that all the time. And there was this one map, we found an exploit on there that you could kind of stand in one position, and all of the enemies would spawn right across the map from you. You could see them, um, and they would just kind of sit there, so we could end up killing all of them. And um, the weapon that we chose to do this was the well rod, because in the game, it was a one-shot kill. So I had the idea a couple weeks ago that I thought it'd be pretty cool to print one up and have my wife make it look really nice um, and give it to him. So I figured I would just turn that into one of these videos. So without further ado, let's get started. Now I created this model using Fusion 360. I brought an image in that I found online and um, brought it in as an attached canvas and then just created the sketch around the outside of the gun. Now for the handle area, including the trigger and the safety, I just did a normal extrude. I extruded them symmetrically on either side. And then for the barrel, I used the rotate extrusion tool. Um, and so that I just cut a line right down the middle of the sketch that I had around the barrel. Um, and then I can just extrude it 360 degrees out, creating a perfect cylinder. And that worked great. And then I just cut some of the um, extra features out of the barrel and then just put on the finishing details after that. It was actually a pretty simple model to create and only took me about an hour to do. And then after I split it up for printing, I sent it over to my Robo 3D R1 and printed it with white hatchbox PLA. I printed this at a 0.3 millimeter layer height with 20% infill, and I used very minimal supports. The only supports I needed were underneath the trigger. Now the cleanup was pretty easy because there weren't too many overhangs, and the few overhangs there were printed really nicely. Um, so after that, I handed it off to my wife for painting. Now she tried out a few new techniques for this. First off, she glued the pieces together just to get them in their final places. And then after she glued them in place, she took to the seams with some contour putty just to make sure that the seams weren't visible on the final piece. Next, we tried out XTC 3D, which is basically just epoxy, and she applied it to the entire model to um, sort of remove the 3D printed look and get rid of the layer lines. And that'll just give a much smoother and professional look to the final product. And after that, she primed it with black plastic primer, and then she gave it a nice coat of hammered metal from Krylon. And then after that, she actually went back to black spray paint to cover up the hammered metal. That was actually to give it an effect like it had been, or it was metal, and then it had been painted. And I actually wanted her to weather this um, so it looked like it could be an authentic replica um, of a well rod that still exists today. So I didn't want it to look brand new like it was in the 1940s. I wanted it to look like it survived the decades and was, you know, kind of worn down um, and weathered. So her idea there was that she'd be able to sand off some of the black paint and reveal a little bit of the metal underneath. So after all the paint had dried, um, she took some sandpaper to it and just started scuffing it up in strategic places to make it look like it was weathered. And we actually left the handle alone because in the pictures that I found online, the handle looked like it was made out of leather and so it had aged a little bit better than some of the metal that looked like it was dinged up and maybe a little rusty. And then in addition to the sandpaper, she actually used a little metal pick to help give some of the scratch looks and get into the, some of the smaller details um, and scratch it up. So after all that work, boom, here we have it. This is the well rod. And as you can see, it actually looks very, very close to what you would expect to see like in a museum or someone's um, antique gun collection. Now this was a silence pistol. Um, it was created by the British in World War II, and it was actually used pretty covertly um, for a lot of assassinations and stuff like that. So it was silenced and it's very simple in design. They actually didn't put any markings on this that could tie it back to a manufacturer or anything like that. They wanted it to be a secret. Um, and it's very, very simple in design. And so basically all you have is you, you have your barrel here and then the clip is in the handle. And then this tab right back here is the safety and then this is the trigger. And then you eject the shells from here. You just twist this out 
shells pop out. Now, I didn't find concrete dimensions for this online, but I tried to model this um, as close as I could to the ones I did find. So, and it feels about right in your hand. It feels like that um, should be about the size. It, it feels right to me. All right, guys. Well, I hope you found this interesting. Um, let me know if you did down in the comments, because I could certainly do more, um, you know, real world type of stuff. I'm certainly down for doing that. Um, just let me know if that's something you'd like to see. And if it's not something you'd like to see, then um, fear not, we'll be back to our regularly scheduled program next week. All right, guys. Well, files, as always, are down in the description. If you're wondering what to watch next, check the little eye up in the corner. And then um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like and get subscribed if you're not already. I put out new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. That's all for me, guys. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.